Hey everybody, this is Sherry from Paper, Paint, and Stitches. I've got a new journal to share with you today, and her name is Home Sweet Home. Uh, she's made out of a book, a, a recycled book, and she's been covered with this um, fabric. It's got a nice texture. It starts out as sort of maybe about this color, but I did a lot of stuff to it, and so it looks like it's really been through it. It's had a life already so it's got ridges on the spine um cheesecloth and fabrics and little flowers that i made and a picture of an old home place and you can put whatever you would like to in the book plate and here's a little pen that i made it's not sharp so it won't poke you it can't go through just anything but it does real well through things that are already have holes in them it's got this little uh peg and elastic closure and we'll just go right inside here. And like I said, this one's called Home Sweet Home. And um, the Bible verse that I associated with this one is Matthew 5, 12. And the first part of it says, Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. And as Christians, we know that earth is not our home. We're just stopping by here to uh, live out our faith and bring others to Christ, and then we'll be going home to heaven with Jesus one day. So we've got a lot of things here. There's all kinds of pens and clips, and there's little papers tucked in lots of pockets. There's lots of stitching, and we'll just go through and look at it right quick. Uh, lots of nice staining and some stamping, some sewing. Like I said, um, this is Home Sweet Home, and I've put in things that remind me of home, uh, my mom liked to sew, and she was a good cook, and we raised a garden every year. My dad planted it, and we all worked in it, and we had cows, and um, sometimes we had a milk cow, and sometimes we had chickens and eggs, and my grandparents had wonderful places to go and roam through farm life, and it was just wonderful. So these things remind me of home. Uh, here's a little envelope with a paper inside, and you close it with this little circle here. And then this old sheet music is um, from a book I got at the thrift store. So I made a pocket here, and there's a, a paper clipped inside there that you can take out and write on. Um, this is the lyrics from a song by Jim Reeves. It's, uh, this world is not my home. And I remember my mom singing this when I was a kid. I didn't know that um, she heard it on the radio. Or I didn't know where it came from, but I loved hearing her sing that song. And that's what it's about, is this world not being our home and us going to heaven someday. Then here's another uh, favorite. This is a page from an old hymnal. Or lots of um, die cutting and punching and stitches. Just all kinds of stuff. This is a um, made with a, what do you call those things? Embossing folder. <laughs> It'll come to me. Um, I just added some color to it. Um, here's some uh, dirty lace and some things to write on, little tags and things. Some more pages. Here's my, here's my uh, sort of, it's not a trademark. <laughs> Anyway, this is something that I'm putting in all of my books, just to remind the person uh, who gets it that um, the cross is there. Jesus died for you to save you from the horrible things that can happen after we die. We want to be with him, not with Satan. So remember that cross. Okay, then we go on. There's a lot of books, and like I said, gardening was a thing in our house, and there was always bugs and things like that. And so I've just made a little tablet here. You could keep your uh, record of what you planted and what date it was and things in there if you wanted to and how much you uh, harvested from your efforts. And then you keep going, and there's lots of little things. There's a place here to um, just some little scraps of paper you could write uh, favorite Bible verses on, 
And that's what this says. It's kind of hard to see, but anyway. And here's just some scrapbooky kind of things and some more lace. And I love this paper. <laughs> I remember my grandma raising roses, and I love them too. This envelope has a Velcro dot on it, and you can tuck things in here. This is just a stained piece of paper to write on. And then it, there's po lots of pockets in this, and then this is just a little piece of paper that you can record your thoughts on. Lots of tails from the sewing <laughs> left on. You can cut those off if you don't like them. And this page folds out. You can write and write and write. Here's a little pocket you can tuck things into. This can be removed if you don't like that in particular. And here's another one of those little folded papers. This is a little tuck spot with um, the tracing paper. That's one of my favorite things to put in here. And more, and I love frogs, <laughs> so I had to leave him uncovered there. There's another pocket, and there's lots of birds. Birds remind me of singing. I listen to them a lot while I'm working in my craft room. Here's some more things with the sewing. Here's a piece of paper. It's just folded and tucked in there. And some um, ephemera pieces from Nick the Booksmith. She has a really neat, um, well, several really neat sets of printables that you can get from her Etsy shop, Nick the Booksmith. And then this is just a little ATC card type thing I made at some point. This is cheesecloth. Um, there's another one of Nicole's printables. A little booklet here made of tea-dyed, tea coffee-dyed paper. Um, here's another song. I remember this. It's one of my favorites. It's tucked into a glassine bag. And then there's another little pocket right here. Um, this is envelope, and it's got one of the Velcro dots. And there's nothing in this one, but you could fill it up with lots of things. And then just... Keep going. Here's some recipe cards. Each one has a little bit different size, and um, the tabs on them are a little bit different. And stamping. It's another little card. This turned out neat. I cut this with a die, so I made it where it had a fold instead of just being single pieces, so you can open that up. There's another one of uh, Nicole's printables. Um... And this is also, here's some washi tape on the edge of this. It looks like a measuring tape for sewing. Here's another one of Nick's printables. I used several of those. I printed out that set and used several of those in here. Um, this is just a folded piece of paper and washi tape and stitching and lots of stuff. Here's more of the printables and a little... Um, <clears throat> flag on the paper clip and the things you can slide in and out of this glassine bag this way. There's a little uh, garment pin with a little charm. It's a spool of thread. I thought that was so cute. <laughs> uh, I've gotten lots of ideas from the many, many wonderful people that share on YouTube and that's how I even got started making these books. I didn't know what they were till I found Nick the booksmith <laughs> so she's kind of my hero and uh, some people look at me and say I'm grown up and others <laughs> probably think I'm not but when I grow up I'd like to be like hers or my journals be like hers anyway that'd be neat she seems like a really nice person so that wouldn't be too bad either to be like her um just a little tag from scrapbooking stash stuff um, I think that's from some, I don't know, that's from scrapbooking paper. I forget where everything comes from, but a little booklet I made. It's got a pattern paper on it. This is a manila envelope just uh, stamped on and a little tablet put in there. A little card. Let's see. And more of these things. These... This is from some Tim Holtz paper, and it actually has recipes on it. I thought that was neat, and it fit in there real good. <laughs> the little clothespins and all kinds of... I didn't fill up all the pockets because I want to leave room for 
whoever takes this home with them to have room to put things in. Here's another favorite hem. Okay, little cheesecloth up here, tracing paper, and this is just a piece of paper that's just got this folded and it's got some washi tape crisscross on it. And there's just an envelope. You might want to tuck something in there. Um, this can be used for cooking things and um, just lots of lots of different bits and pieces and just little folded papers you can write notes on there's a tag and a little envelope you can tuck things into there's some paper in there already and a bit of lace and another one of those pins I made and here we are at the end and there's a pocket on the inside of this one and I tucked in the the label you can discard that if you want to or stick it in a pocket or different place or however you want to do that but just to help you remember where you got the book and who made it and i thank you for stopping by and watching and i hope you have a blessed blessed day and i'll see you next time thank you